Now for a quick rundown on the software. Uh, this is the program I'm calling the Mobius Manipulator. Uh, it allows you to modify patterns and files um, independently of your piece so that you can then in the future download it or it lets you modify um, uh, live what the settings and uh, colors and patterns and palettes are in the piece. So you'll see over here there are two buttons file and live. Uh, first thing we're going to go to the live setting and uh, it shows the list of devices plugged in and I'm just going to hit connect. Uh, this is trained to automatically look at the most recently added device. Um, so in theory just plugging in your piece will point right to it um, which so far this has been working without flaw. So now that I'm connected um, I have access to these tabs over here. None of them are really filled yet. Um, there are now settings that we can read in from the hoop itself uh, piece by piece. There will be a, a read all in button at one point but uh, this program is still in the works so some features are still missing but if we read in our color palettes here are our, our excuse me our color uh, solid colors uh, not our color palettes this here is the first 16 color modes uh, represented by solid colors and then there are nine more solid colors which you can use to manipulate your color palettes. And we'll get to that in just a second. So to modify your colors all you have to do is select the color either from the visual list down here or the selection box and you can name colors in your file. Um, then you can modify it, adjust it either by the track bars or numerically um, utilizing uh, RGB values from any color you might find on the web or or whatever. Um, once you have modified the color you can then set it to your palette and write it back out to your hoop. Uh, this will then change that color and it will change any palette that uses that color. So once we have the solid color set we can then set up palettes. So here is the first palette. It's a red orange, red orange, 5666. Six, six. So uh, camera doesn't pick up the red and orange, so we're, we're going to go to a rainbow palette. So here is the rainbow palette, red through purple. That's uh, eight nine eight nine nine eight nine eight as far as the count. So this is a 69 color pattern for a 69 LED hoop. Um, this means the <clears> that this pattern will repeat once around the hoop using 8 red, 9 orange, 8 yellow, so on and so forth. So a bit different rainbow pattern would be this one where it's 3 red, 3 orange, 3 yellow, etc, etc, repeated three times with only two purple. Uh, it's a 23 LED pattern which repeated three times gives us 69 LEDs for the, the pattern. Now most of this will be taken care of uh, automatically as far as the repeating and whatnot, but uh, when you have a, a 72 LED hoop, you will want to set up color palettes that match your LED count. Is it necessary? No. You can make an 80 LED color palette for a 72 LED hoop. It will work fine, all except for on the orange color filter, or the orange mode filter, uh, which cycles the palette underneath the animation pattern and does so for the entire duration of the palette. So uh, that one will run a little bit off and reset. Still looking good, but not as smooth as if you were to set up um, a 72 LED pattern for that piece. Um, so, that is how you set up the palettes that we cycled through. Um, there's a wide array of options with these as far as uh, how you set them up. This is the, the blue and red with the, the 20 blue and 3 red, repeated three times, gives three red sections. Um, so there's yeah, a lot of different options here. Now once you've got your palettes, you can move on to your animation patterns. Um, first thing we're going to do, again this will be automated in the final version, but uh, we're going to set up our, our circle, set up our hoop. Now this represents all the LEDs in the hoop. There's 69 boxes here representing 69 LEDs in the hoop that we've been looking at. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open pattern 1. Now pattern 1, everything's on. That's the one we've been looking at uh, 
most for the color palettes. It's pattern two, every other LED. Every two LEDs, so on and so forth, I can just walk through the palettes. And so say I want to modify this. Say I want to change it up. So I just click, turn some on, turn some off. Um, we'll take out the middles of these groups. So now we've got these groupings with a hole in the middle. Now I, say I like that. So boom, set the pattern. Animation pattern was set. So now when I turn on the hoop and I go to this mode, those are the LEDs that are going to be active. Um, on top of that, you'll then be able to apply any of these 30 color palettes. Now there will be a simulator set up so that when you set up these patterns, you'll be able to click a button and apply any of your color palettes to see how they mask over each other. Uh, coming down the road, it'll be here. There's still uh, still a lot of work to be done with the software, a lot of, lot of little features to be added. And I'll continually be working on that for a while, I'm sure. So moving on to the auto modes. Uh, there, like I said, there are six group auto groups for each color color palettes and animation patterns. Um, there are five listed here. I do not list the all sequences because those obviously cycle through all of them. So here we have sequence one through five. Uh, here's your first eight, your second eight, your second, you know, your first sixteen, your second sixteen, and then these two down here are all one. These are your thirty-five. Um, and you can simply type in the number of the mode, which can be seen um, on the palette, and the base colors are just 1 through 16, so um, those are numeric. Those are going to be getting, uh, the animations are going to be getting modified to represent the filter and the pattern number. Um, the, so this this will be changing a little bit to be a little more user friendly in regards to picking through the filters. Uh, but yeah, it's as simple as just typing in the mode numbers and then writing it out. Um, the next page is the speed settings. There are five speed groups soon to be expanded into six speed groups um, and you will be able to apply each speed group to any of the filters. That means any of those colored filters in the menu selection, um, you'll be able to apply your own speed range. Uh, the six speeds that I was able to set uh, on the fly in the hoop are these settings. So I'll be applying them to a, um, a time value as opposed to a numeric value and uh, you'll be able to use those to modify speeds for different groups in each speed setting. Uh, the remaining tabs are unfinished. Uh, there's the POV tab which will allow you to modify the POV images, uh, upload and download them. Uh, the data is all there, I just need to make the interface. Uh, the filters, this will be the, the, the animation groups, the red, orange, yellow filters. Uh, this will allow you to order them in whatever order you want, uh, manipulate them, move them, um, kind of change everything about. And then this upload tab right now is just a work platform for me, um, but that will allow you to upload files and upload new packages, um, set new information into your hoop um, in the upcoming future. This is all stuff that you can modify right now as it is um, um, anytime you want. Uh, this will eventually be offered as a Wi-Fi controller. Uh, this will all be offered through the Android platform first, followed by the um, Apple platform, yeah, the iPhone platform. Um, so for the time being, it's all just PC-based uh, through the USB uh, with future expansion capabilities into Wi-Fi and mobile control. Um, this is where it's at so far guys. This is what is being sent out. This platform allows me to add anything in the future. Um, any changes can be downloaded by you through software. No need to ship it in. No need to send it back. Um, yes, this is, this is what I've been working on and this is what I hope you guys 
will love.